What's good, YouTube? This your boy Lazarin. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe on the video. I thank everybody for tuning in to the live stream earlier today. It was a good live stream, even though I had some L's on there. But I also had some great wins on there, too. So I thank everybody who tuned into the live stream right now. I'm watching this uh, against the Raptors and the Warriors. I'm going to do the game later. Uh, I'm going to do the Boston Celtics and the Washington Wizards, which that was a great game. Awesome game. Kyrie Irving totally dominated that game in overtime. Uh, it was a slugfest between him and John Wall. And I'm going to do uh, OKC and uh, New Orleans. Uh, Probably not tonight, but tomorrow. But I'm going to do two videos. Uh, I'm going to do the video I'm doing right now in the uh, OKC versus, not the OKC, but the Raptors versus the uh, the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to do that. That They down, go to state down by 12 right now. Let's get right to the uh, video. Uh, Lamar Jackson, Lamar Action Jackson will be the starter from here on out for the Baltimore Ravens after Joe Flacco coming off uh, an injury. Uh, like I say, um, the uh, Baltimore Ravens are, si I think, seven and six. They're still in the uh, birth of the wild card spot, but they also still in the division because Pittsburgh been stinking up the joint lately. They lost to the Oakland Raiders. Uh, just an awful, just an awful loss. Pittsburgh, I had to win in the division. I still think they're gonna win the division. If Baltimore is gonna get in, they're gonna have to um win the wild card, win a wild card spot. But it's not over. Baltimore still can't win this division. Uh, like I say, the way Pittsburgh is scuffling right now, um, uh, Baltimore still in the run hunt for this division. Uh, you knew on draft night when the uh Baltimore Ravens drafted Lamar Jackson, it was over for Joe Flacco. Ever since Joe Flacco got that big contract after the Super Bowl year. Joe Flacco has not done nothing but stink up um, the city of Baltimore. He has not lived up to that contract. Some of the parts he hasn't uh, done, he hasn't had receivers to deal with, but he did have Steve Smith, who had a good season back then, before he to his Achilles, and he had to see a good season the following year after coming back. Um, Joe Flacco is just not good no more, man. Joe Flacco, time has ran out, and like I said, he was very frustrated in his recent interview. He said he didn't want to be... He said he just didn't. He didn't. Uh, he's very upset. He's not gonna get a chance to start, and his vibe don't feel so good. But hey, like I say, uh, every, they they were moving on as soon as they got Lamar Jackson. Like I say, it, it's not a world. People in this world are Baltimore fans. Didn't uh, knew everybody knew that Lamar Jackson was gonna start at some point this year. Lamar Jackson has been a good player for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, they lost that tough game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the defense played hard. Uh, Lamar Jackson put on a uh, did very good for the uh, Baltimore Ravens against that game. In that game, uh, I thought that was a pass interference call on Kendall Fuller. But other than that, um, Lamar Jackson been playing some very good football. I mean, like I say, Lamar Jackson is a very good athletic player. Uh, you can run read options uh, uh, for him. Uh, but Lamar Jackson needs to practice on getting down because he's going to get hurt like that. He has not been getting down, sliding on the ground. He's been taking a lot of hits uh, when he's running. Uh, Lamar Jackson has been very good. Like I say, Lamar Jackson is the future of the uh, Baltimore Ravens organization. Uh, he's been playing some great basketball. Football, I said basketball, football. Uh, like I say, you don't you don't change nothing if you're Baltimore. You've done a good job. Stick with Lamar Jackson. He's the he's the uh, leader of your franchise. He's the heart and soul. He's gonna be your franchise quarterback for the uh, for years to come. Uh, Flacco is kind of washed up. He is not a good quarterback anymore. Uh, so you just move on for Joe Flacco, which I think uh, the Baltimore Ravens are going to do. Uh, Baltimore, uh, Lamar Jackson has been great. The running game has been great. The receivers has been great around him. The tight ends, and he's been doing very well um, utilizing the running game by himself. And he's been a pretty good passer. It, uh, I mean, like he's not an accurate, he's not an accurate passer at times, but he's been pretty good. He's been pretty okay. And like I say, I think it gives Baltimore a best chance to win. I think having Lamar Jackson on the, is giving will give Baltimore a best chance to win. They got the uh uh think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this week. They should win that game. Uh, but like I say, they're not out of the division by any means necessary. Pis the way Pittsburgh been playing, uh, the Baltimore Ravens still can win this division. Uh, like I say, but they also can make it be up to the wild card. Because guess what? They own the tiebreaker over Tennessee. They beat Tennessee, uh, put a shellacking on them 
earlier in the season by like 10 sacks on Marcus Mariota. But like I say, um, Lamar Action Jackson uh, is starting from here on out for the Baltimore Ravens. The only way Joe Flacco gets his job back if Lamar Jackson end up getting hurt and somehow don't get down. Uh, he needs to start sliding. Uh, like I say, I like the way John Harville uh, utilizing uh, Lamar Jackson's game, using him as a weapon as in a running game as well. Lamar Jackson just need to get a little bit more consistent on uh, throwing the football and being more accurate with the football. But other than that, Lamar Jackson has been a real good um, has been real good for uh, the Baltimore Ravens. He done they still were using them in packages, even though if Joe Flacco was to get a starting job back, that would not keep Mar Jack Lamar Jackson off the field. So that was a great job by. You know, Harvo, Jim, like Harvo, Jim Harvo, just being able to use Lamar Jackson uh, legs and use him in different combinations, different packages in the game. But like I say, I think the Baltimore Ravens made a good move. Uh, Lamar Jackson is your franchise quarterback, so you keep him uh, on the field. You don't break up nothing that's going great for you. You're still gonna make the. I believe you're gonna make a wild card spot or either win the division. And say Mar Lamar Jackson can get you guys to the playoffs. That's for sure, and you could possibly win a playoff game with, with Lamar Jackson with that defense uh, you got on the other side of the football. So, like I say, Lamar Jackson is in for Baltimore. He's going to stay in. Joe Flacco is out. He's going to be out by this year. Uh, like I say, Joe Flacco has some good years in Baltimore, but he's just not that same type of level quarterback anymore. Uh, really, he never was. He was always an like, uh, okay quarterback. He, all, he always – was turning the ball over a lot, but at the same time, he didn't really have any receivers to work with besides Anquan Bowden and stuff like that the year that he won the Super Bowl. But like I say, everybody knew when uh, they drafted, moved up to draft Lamar Jackson, Joe Flacco's time was over. And even though Joe Flacco even knew that, so, hey, like I say, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. What you guys think about Lamar Jackson starting? For the Baltimore Ravens, uh, Lamar Jackson is starting from here on out for the Baltimore Wave Ravens, and I think, like I say, he gives them the best chance to win a football game and make the playoffs, which is I think they're gonna make the playoffs. Um, I think they're, I think uh, Lamar Jackson could win them a playoff game with that defense on the other side of the ball. So give me a comment, like, and subscribe. What you guys think about this video and what you guys think about Lamar Jackson uh, is starting? Thank you guys. I'm back to the uh, game. I'm out. Uh, peace.